In 2021, we got Sonic the Hedgehog and Cyclospedia. 30 years of Sonic the Hedgehog. Hardcover from the Dark Horse Books. So, there is that. So, this is everything about him over 30 years. And there's also a timeline in the back, which is basically everything that's come out so far. <laughs> so, let me just do this over here. There we go. So this covers from the first game all the way up to Olympic Games Tokyo 2020. Oh, oh 290 pages of coolness. I'll be on TV to check all this jazz out. Table of contents. And of course you have your key as well. There's a lot to this too, which is really nice. So you got your overview, your stories, people, all the characters, your items, your enemies. Uh, I forget, there was a whole bunch of other shit too. <laughs> Animals. That's how they break them down. So you have your title, Release dates for the United States, PAL, Japan, overview story bonus panel, zones, all that jazz. Ooh. Oh no, somebody ripped that. It wasn't me. Oh, great. Oh, okay, yeah, I will tape that then. I didn't know that tour. Dang. That's a bitch. Tell you, man, people don't care about this shit. And honestly, I don't care about Sonic. I have never been into Sonic. The only one I ever played was on Sega Genesis. The first game, and that's it. I didn't care for it. That thing made me... Because <laughs> I was young at the time. I didn't really get into gaming hardcore then. You know, I played it because it was something to do. I could never get past the one fucking level because I kept fucking dying, so I kind of gave up. Yeah, it was one. Spinball. Yeah. Yeah, Spinball. Yeah, that's right. It was Sonic Spinball. That was the one. Yep. That was my first introduction to Sonic. And I never played it and never played anything again of Sonic because I didn't care for it. it was stupid. But, I know people love Sonic for whatever reason. Whether it gets them off, or it just makes them happy. You know, you can have whatever you want. The knuckles. Yeah. So, you already know, I'm not buying this book, because I don't fucking need it. But if you were curious about what was in it, then there's what's in it. There's no collectibles in this. There's um, just your history of Sonic. <laughs> and everything's labeled so well, and I love that. <clears throat> Pages do feel kind of tacky ish, but you know, that's how this book goes. <laughs> But I do like Dark Horse books, though. They're really good when they come to doing hardcore, hardcore, yeah. Hardcore porn. No, hardcover books. <laughs> but do I have a favorite Sonic character? Um, no, not at all. I don't really want one, to be honest. I mean, is Sonic iconic? Definitely. Of course, I'm not going to take that away from him. Like, I don't really care for him. It's just, I don't know. It is what it is. So, would I recommend this to you and friends? Yeah. If you are looking for this book, didn't know what was in it, this is what's in it. Mm. 
my gaming preferences are mostly fighting games, shooters, some mystery ones. But I go all over the map with different games, so <laughs> nothing's ever concrete with me. <sighs> but if you're a diehard Sonic fan and you haven't seen this book or heard of it, you should probably get it. I know my one artist friend, Mr. Jones, he loves Sonic. He's, a, he's one of those diehard fans because he's done some Sonic fan art himself and whatnot. It's a heavier book, too, by the way. It's not light by any means. Even for being 200-something pages, it's the page material and the hardcover itself that makes it really heavy. <laughs> but I do love these compendium books. They are super, super important and essential, especially for a legacy character. Because legacy characters don't get a lot of credit like they should. <laughs> and it's really weird, too, because you'd think they would, but no. Nah. Do I like Sega? Sega's alright. I won't play it though, but... And the last Sega-related game I played was Aliens Colonial Marines, and yeah, that has its issues. It was a cool game, but eh, whatever. one.